Sakura itself you can go over here and you can go to add printer non-network printer you can go in here and do your own customizations but uh, for me I will just go over here and find this called two trees and I find this called sapphire plus and then I change it to sk1 add then after which I will come to this page for two trees there are setting two six five two six five two six five and I change over here all to zero and then the start code you can go over here to this which are again the SK1 top machine documentations and then we find SK1 slicer configurations and we find Kura configurations and over here they have the start code end code and we can just copy and paste it there So over here, the end code, copy, select all, paste it, and click next. Then after which we will come over here to this called manage profile. So in manage profile, we will come here, import, and we find the file. Which is this for me. Then inside have this slicer configurations, Kura configurations. Then I will bring in all this. But if your system like mine is being locked, what I did is go over here, drag this, go in. Then they'll ask you whether you want to open as project. And you open. Then you open. Then you will save inside your profile page. Yep. So you can save all the profile inside. Okay. So it will look something like this. So this is the one for the SK1 profile. But again, it's up to you whether which one you want to use. For me, I still prefer the Pusa Slicer la, for the SK1. But again, it's up to personal preference.